Hello everyone, I'm glad you've come to cook with Victoria. Today I'll be sharing with you a simple sauce. It goes with chicken, with your chips, and this is called peri peri sauce. For those of us that love going to Nando's, we say they serve it chicken and uh, chips, and it's so super yummy. But I would like to let you know today that it's so easy for you to make it at home. And when you make it at home, you get the freshness. You get it in very, very fresh form. And again, you'll be able to control the condiment you put in. And again, you'll be able to have the quantity you want. So if you want to know how peri peri sauce is made, just come along with me and let's make this together. Today we'll be making peri peri sauce. You know when you go to Nando's, they serve you chicken, chips and all those stuff with peri peri sauce. And the peri peri sauce have uh, different kinds of spiciness in them. Some are very spicy, some are mild. But today I'll be doing the spicy peri peri sauce. It's so easy to make and these are the ingredients that will be needed. We have chili you can use any chili of your choice i have some that are small and i have some that are very big you can use any one i have onion i have garlic oil this is sunflower oil you can use olive oil i have salt i have vinegar i have lemon and also i'll be using citric acid and the reason I'm using citric acid is one it adds as a preservative and again it's going to maintain the color so that it can last for about three months if you don't use a spoon that is wet or if you don't use contaminated spoon or any spoon or anything that will contaminate it so what are we doing now is I'm going to be blending this all together. I'll extract the juice from here. And the measurement of everything I'll be using is in the description box. Please check it out. I'm not going to add any water, so I'll be using my food processor to blend. I've already put everything together, all the ingredients I showed you into the, the, the blender, the food processor. And I squeeze out the juice from the lemon and I add it to it. Now I will be blending. Now let's check. Look at it. So I need it to be more smooth than this. So what I'll be doing now, I'll just put it in a pot and allow it to simmer for like 10-15 minutes so that the taste, the, the raw taste of pepper will be taken away and again it's going to make it last even for more period of time. Mm. Nice. Now this is how it looks like. I've put it inside the pot, low heat. So that it won't get burned for the next like 15 minutes. Let's see. You see it? I'm going to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. And our peri peri sauce is ready. After 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. So, you see it? Our sauce is ready. That's it. Hmm. Nice. So what I'll be doing is, and that'll be off camera. I'm going to allow it to cool down very well and put it in a airtight container. It is already sterilized. I will ster the, the containers are already sterilized. Just put them there, seal them, make sure when you want to use them. I mean, when you want to use the sauce, just get a nice, clean, dry. Uh, spoon to scoop it and use it or you can get the bottles that you can squeeze and it comes out so Anyways, this is our peri peri sauce <laughs> Wow 
when it comes to cooking you just keep on exploring and as you explore you will discover and as you discover you will enjoy and you will enjoy even better today we have explored in our own kitchen how to make peri peri sauce and it was so nice <laughs> so super easy to make and the color everything just came out the quantity that i wanted everything so now each time i make chicken i will just go to my peri peri sauce and on and on and with my chips and all those stuff if you like what you've seen so far why don't you give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and your family don't forget to subscribe if you have not and don't forget the notification bell because this will notify you each time i upload new video and again don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section till next time bye